They're coming. All right, before we get into today's topic, kind of just want to start you guys off to give you guys an idea of what me and Michelle do on our days off and in the morning. So we just had a session here and, you know, we pretty much wake up, get some um, protein shakes, some protein bars. I'll airplay the iPad on there, we'll stretch, and then we get some sessions. Michelle, you mostly do yoga. Me, I've been working on a little bit of everything. So I'll have an arm day, abs day, leg day, full body day, everything day, pretty much. So this is what we do in the morning, just to get ourselves pumped. And we're going to take a walk right now. You guys probably seen some of my vlogs. Uh, I'm vlogging, we're just walking because we do this all the time. And then we're gonna get some smoothies after. So that's our, our schedule when we're off together and have a free day before we start anything, before I start editing, before I start recording for my other channel. This is how we get started for the day. When I had the GoPro and I got like that GoPro kit, it came with uh, this little uh, tripod. I forgot about it, so I'm gonna use this to see how it works with my phone. Don't have the camera today. Every time we take a walk, I just, I'm reminded about how beautiful our neighborhood is. Like I'm just, we're just, I'm just grateful to be able to live somewhere like this. You know, where it's how the car is flying past us. But compared to, you know, New York, I lived in the hood in New York. Oh, SI. Okay. I lived in the hood in New York, you know, where you hear gunshots and people fighting and dying. Till this, where there's nobody outside all the time. And it's pretty chill. My gaming PC is done. So what's next? So I've noticed that the gaming room is missing a lot of stuff. It still feels empty. You know, I put some stuff on the wall. The floors have, you know, some, some have mats and stuff like that. But I feel like we still need another carpet. I still feel like we need uh, more stuff on the walls. Michelle had a group. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> Michelle had a good idea, I guess. Michelle had a good idea of putting a rug and a table on top of it. I was maybe thinking of putting like a gaming rug maybe on the floor or something like that. And there's one thing I am gonna do, we just gotta order it, is it's gonna help out the walls a little bit and the overall the performance of the game room. So we have a lot of things coming and I kind of just wanna give you guys some ideas while we're on this walk. So we forgot to start the timer on our watch. So it says we've been walking for three minutes. In real life, we've been walking probably for like six minutes. So we're gonna walk a little bit more to make sure we track that 10 minute. So the little community place that we live in have a basketball court and we need to get a basketball court. I mean a basketball court, we need to get a basketball. <laughs> Damn, that, that net is smoke though. But yeah, I can't front, I'm trash. Michelle might smoke me. But yeah, we should get a basketball and play here. Backboard looks trash though. There's dead New York pigeons here. Like, it's just weird seeing these dudes. Oh, they're gone. They heard me. They heard me talking you crazy. She's like, you guys see them up there? So Michelle's a camera girl right now. How do you like your CRV? I love my CRV. Um, sorry, it's like dusty over here. But she was gonna have me. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. oh no! What she doing? Okay. Ah! Wait, oh gosh, okay. No, you're fine. Well, okay, sorry, it's like dusty. Um, we had brought it to a touchless car wash um, a couple of weeks ago. No, I think it was last week, actually, a couple of weeks ago. I have no sense of time. But I love it. I love how spacious it is. I love that I have room for my drinks. I love that I can charge my phone and have like the car play like on the screen so I don't have to like um, be looking at my phone. I like how safe it makes me feel. I just love how roomy it is, and I'm just in love with it. I still can't believe like I have it. So I sold one of these yesterday because I mean, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm a salesperson at Honda. I sell Hondas, and my customer was like, "So you know, you guys have a CRV? Are you like one of the youngest people that have CRVs?" And I was thinking about it. And I was like, "Yeah, I think oh, so." Oh yeah. Because, you know, people our age buy freaking. SIs and you know just sport this and sport that and sport that and the CRV is a like a universal vehicle. It's like a 
you know, I don't want a car. I want something bigger. I want to be able to have plenty of room in the back seat and have cargo space and all-wheel drive and Ooh. blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I obviously, like, this is my daily, and I'm coming from having a Civic, and the Civics are super small. So I always thought, oh, like, I just want to keep, like, small cars just because, like, they're more con convenient, I guess, and, you know, I don't need to have that much room, da, da, da. But I started brainstorming and we want to get bikes and it would be nice to have this to take our bikes to the trails and even if like we wanted to go on like trips and stuff, um, we just have enough room to do so and whenever um, we go shopping, we just have like enough room because that's one thing with the Civic is it was so annoying to try to find either someone to um, come pick us up well not pick us up but someone to help oh, yeah, us or true. whenever we got big things and one thing with the house is at least we had already like had the moving truck we didn't have to worry about back and forth trips but buying like stuff for the house and like furniture and like bigger items it was so hard to try to fit it in the civic and there was no way it would fit in the si there was just no way and then it was just so hard to find space so now I feel comfortable like going on shopping trips because I know okay this can fit in my car because even the coffee table like I had bought in our coffee table bought our coffee table with the Civic and it was like it could fit but like I had to think about it and I had to call Keem and Keem was at work and we had to like do measurements and it was this whole process whereas now I know I have enough room so yeah you got those seats back there it'll fit whatever it will yeah. anything that we need to um put back there so we gucci and also like i never had to worry about gas when it came to my civic but i still don't have to worry about gas for this car i think to fill it it's like what like like twenty dollars Twenty, like, no, like 20 it to, depends to fill it fully like well michelle never gases her car when it's on empty she waits till it gets to like half so like, I a think, little under half though i've been doing yeah, it like the last i think couple maybe times. like 30 right 30 something not i've 30s, never i've never had to use 30 and i've had a couple of bars because so when my dad came to visit i think my car had maybe three or four bars it was probably three bars actually and he filled it with 19 dollars. it was like 1944 so maybe for like a full tank it'll probably be and no more than 25 dollars, depending on gas prices and our gas prices are super low right now so I love it. I love this car. It's my little baby. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we, I can't wait. I can't wait until we're able to go on road trips again, mm -hmm. you know, and use the CRV because when we went on road trips, because we've driven to Nevada. No. Yeah. We drive, but well, we've driven through Nevada. And but Colorado. We've driven Colorado. We, we, no, we've driven to Nevada. Yeah. I'm yeah. getting Nevada and Arizona mixed up. Mm -hmm. We've driven to Nevada. We've driven Colorado. Um, we've driven in Arizona. Yeah, we, we took a plane um, to two hours. But, but this thing will be way more comfortable than the Civic because we took Michelle's Civic everywhere. And that was like a base model Civic. And this is a fully loaded Torrent CRV. And this is like very comfortable leather seats, power seats, you know, heated everything, wireless phone charger, a little bit of everything. So um, hopefully the pandemic goes away. It was weird. This was the first year that we didn't like well we went to new york early in the year um like early early but usually for like our anniversary or for christmas like we'll go somewhere and this is the first year like we haven't gone anywhere so hopefully once things like kind of settle down we could take a road trip um and go somewhere because there's still like beautiful places to even see in new mexico that we can drive to like oh, the yeah. white sands and stuff i mean in new mexico there's probably still places we can still drive and go visit but um yeah Mich michelle's right there's like mad places we've never even been to or even heard of that we still need to discover and now that we have the crv we definitely will be able to you know if there's any like roads that were they're kind of harsh roads with the crv to you know tack it on and i want to go snowboarding like we need to go up like north and go snowboarding yeah i really want to do that mm -hmm. It's kind of sad though because like I haven't like been in Target because of everything so actually it's probably better because I don't spend as much money as I would but yeah I don't know 
I miss walking in and getting trapped in the dollar section. <laughs> like as soon as I walk in. That's my favorite spot. But yeah, we had to drive up waiting for people to bring our ting on ting on. So they're doing this new thing where like now um instead of them scanning the barcode, you give them this code, which doesn't really I don't understand how it makes a difference because I still like talk to you and give your things. But so yeah, hopefully let's see. They're coming. They're coming. Mwah. If you guys know me, you know, always come to Kiva Juice. If it's not Kiva Juice, it's Squeeze. If it's not Squeeze, Tropical Cafe. Get a smoothie in the morning. So like I said, I haven't ate like an actual like food. Like I literally drink smoothies every single morning. Pretty much what I was talking about earlier is, so take a look at the setup real fast. So this is how we last had it, right? So we had, you know, the chair over here, my driving wheel over there, and then my main setup here. And I just feel like it's pretty empty. So remember, we left this space for when new GTA come out. It's going to go right there. But to be honest, this is going to get... Actually, I'm going to change this up for what I have coming. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys yet. I'm going to let you guys just see when I get here. But um, like even these walls... Yeah, actually, this side is pretty good. But I just feel right in the middle. It's pretty empty. So if I back up here, there's nothing there. So Michelle was saying we should put a rug and have like a table on top of it, which will be a good idea. And for Michelle's um, desk, we may maybe move this somewhere and uh, maybe put her desk right here next to mine or maybe move mine over more that way. Or we're not there yet to even figure that out. We still got to build her computer first. Oh, I forgot to put my lights on. How dare I? All right, guys, what you want today? You want, what, what are we doing? Let's, let's turn this on. We have just regular rainbow. We can do, uh, what can we do? A little heartbeat effect. Ooh, I like that. This changing colors. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, I, I put it on auto, and I guess it just does whatever it wants. I don't know, that's pretty cool, though. I'll just leave it in the rainbow. I, I like the rainbow. It matches to my keyboard, so whatever. So I've been brainstorming and there's a lot of ideas I have. I already have one that's, I gotta order it. Work is, because of the whole pandemic stuff, work has been super slow. So, so since work has been way slow, I've been spending more time at work. And since I've been spending more time at work, I haven't been making more videos than I could. And I haven't been um, getting more stuff for the setup than I could either because work is so slow. Um, I've been focusing more on like, you know, bills and the house and my stuff like that too. I did make some changes in my setup again because I don't know, I like to just move things around. So the mic, instead of it being on the left side, it's on the right side. And I bought a new cable for it. I forgot, damn, I forgot what this cable is called. It's called a USB Type A. Had to go look that up. So this is the one I had originally. You see how short this one is. The new one I got is six feet. So this, this goes around the computer, go all the way over there. But this one was so short, it couldn't come this far. And the reason why I wanted my mic on this side instead of the left side is because the computer's not that loud, but you can hear it pushing air out and drawing air in. And I had the microphone right here. So on some of my Kimergini gaming videos, one of you guys noticed, you can hear the air in the background. So by moving the mic all the way over there, hopefully that will help with that. So that's one thing I change. And I'm actually gonna record some videos with my sister after this too. So. Make sure you guys subscribe to Marini Gaming. I spend most of my time posting videos on that um, channel because we're always gaming. And like I said, don't really have too much to vlog. I'm not just going to vlog random things. I like to just vlog things I feel like it's interesting. And if, it's, if I'm not doing nothing interesting, I'm not going to vlog it. I am grateful to be able to have a game room like this because I'm 26. And a lot of 26-year-olds probably still live with their parents, which is nothing wrong with that. But probably still live with their parents, you know, and don't have their own space like this. Or maybe you have your 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 bedroom and you have your game and stuff in here. But I have my own house, you know, like it's a it's like on a different level, you know, like living on your own and not just living in an apartment, but living in your own house is like a whole different level. Some of you guys that do want to get a house in the future, you know, you're going to see what that feeling is like is because it's your house, you know, you 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 make your own rules. You do your own thing. Being an adult and living on your own is not the easiest thing in the world. You have to, you're gonna have a lot of bills, a lot of responsibilities, and a lot of upkeep. And if you're not ready for that, stay with your mom. I'm just a very independent person and Michelle too, which is why we got our, we got our own, we have been living our own pretty early. We got that apartment pretty early and you know, now we have our own house because 
we just like to have our own stuff, have our own place, be able to do whatever we want. So, but I am very grateful that I have the opportunity to have my own house at 26. It's just, you know, there's like a lot of people, parents don't even get their first house to like in their forties, you know? So the fact that I can do this and I'm, and then this is not with YouTube. Like I'm not popular on YouTube. My, I don't have a lot of subscribers. I don't even make that much from YouTube to even be doing stuff like this too. So this is all from me working hard, saving my money and investing as well too. One thing I've noticed that, you know, a lot of people are not taught how to spend money. When you're young, you're in high school, you're in college, you know, no one teaches you how to use money. So that's stuff that I've learned on my own. And that's why I was able to, like all the stuff we have now, I planned it a long time ago. And I made a a plan. I put how I'm going to get there, what I'm going to do, and just make it happen. That's my philosophy. Everything you see I have here, you know, me from building the computer, having a sponsorship. And like I said, my channel is not that popular. You know, I don't have 100, 200,000 subscribers. And I still have companies that have reached out to help me. It's all from, you know, me working hard and doing what I love to do, which is jumping into things I have nothing, like I know nothing about and figuring it out. All the OGs out there that's been following me for a long time, you guys saw I've, I make videos on this thing that I have, I don't know what I'm doing. And I just kind of jump in, record it. I don't know. Every day I stare at this thing, fall in love with it more. And then I can't wait for us to grow it because Michelle's computer is going to, be the next build and we're gonna have like the ultimate setup but um yeah i've been trying to work on the walls more stuff i could put in here i'm a, i'm just gonna it's gonna be nice i'm gonna have like you know rgb strips kind of behind the desk and i'm gonna light more things it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be lit in here it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be a crazy setup i was thinking of doing a tri-zone setup so if i do a tri-zone setup i'm gonna need a bigger desk but do three of the, the Asus um, screens and Michelle's bill could sit on this desk and I get another, uh, there's so many things I could do. You know, I can get another Gamdias desk and just have it next to each other. You know, I, like I, I really, I really appreciate Gamdias and all this, the help, all the support they've had for me on this channel. So of course I would invest in them because they, they went out their way to help me out, you know, and there's not a lot of companies that will do that, you know, even though they're not a company that's been around for a long time, and but they're still not that new either. They've been around for some time. On my video where I built the PC for the first time, um, I knew there were gonna be a lot of comments on things that I made a mistake on because there's no way I was gonna make that perfect. I never did that before. Um, and I knew there's gonna be rude people, you know, trying to pretty much say I'm dumb. Like, how could you make that mistake? You're an idiot, stuff like that. For people that are watching and I do want to make a YouTube, just know that you're going to have those people regardless. Like, you're not going to get on YouTube. You're not going to get on their internet and not get someone's opinion that they don't, they don't agree. They, they do not agree with you. And they're going to try to make them seem like they're better than you. Like, you're always going to have that. So um, if you guys are scared of that, don't even be scared of that. Because at the end of the day, you're making the content and that person, you know, they're watching it, but they're, it's, they're, they're pretty, they're irrelevant, you know? So I love all opinions, even if the opinion is rude and, you know, I don't agree with it. Um, I always either comment back or I'll like it, or if it's like something really ridiculous, I, I'll skip it. But I try to, res I try to respond to everyone that drops a comment on my videos. Before I started all this babbling just now about the whole game room and stuff, um, after we got home from getting the smoothies and everything, um, we read, so we all, me and Michelle have stacks of books that we actually, you know, we buy, so we're going to read them and we have an, a half an hour to an hour read every time we're free. So that's like tw three or two times a week. We would just read and she have her book. I have my book and we just read with each other. And one thing I will promote is that, so this is a technology world. So everyone has iPads and cell phone devices and stuff like that. So no one really reads books anymore. And I feel like if you're someone that want to keep updated with your vocabulary and you're just like an experience re reading a book you don't you don't get from reading having an iPad or a tablet or, you know, like a, a book reader or whatever. It's just the whole feeling of pages and having a cover, a real cover and then smelling the book and then you're reading these words and your imagination is picturing what it is. But um, I kind of just wanted to take you guys through a day and speak more about the gaming setup. If you have any suggestions of what I should do, like I said, at the end of the day, this is my game room and whatever I want to put in here, I'm going to put in here. But sometimes some people have some good ideas like, wow, I never thought of that. Drop in the comment what you guys think. 
So if you guys have been watching from day one, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Next video, we're going to discuss more on Michelle's PC that we're going to build. And I may discuss on the next giveaway. Because if this channel actually gets bigger, like let's say it gets huge, I want it to be a channel where you you learn to do things, of course. But um, I also want it to be a channel to help other people to start their channel. So I am going to do way more giveaways in the future. Um, I'm not going to always give away a whole computer. I feel like I did that with the A300 because I've never did a giveaway before. And I knew I was never, after this computer was built, I was never going to use that computer ever again. I, I knew that for sure. I could have easily just gave it to somebody I know. But I think it's more meaningful. It goes to someone I don't know. I like helping out friends and family, of course, but strangers as well, too. Because that's like a different, that's on a level not a lot of people would do. And that's something, you know, I feel like my purpose being on YouTube and being on this earth is to help people and to show people that they can do what they put their mind to it if they don't know they can do it. But enough of me babbling. I probably just, I just babbled for like a good 50 minutes on here, so... Um, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.